Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This time, we'll be continuing with some more Hitman. Now, in the last video, we had finished episode 1. So, as you can see, there's no missions that we can do for now until Square Enix decide they want to upload some more episodes. So, for now, we kind of just have to make do with some of the featured contracts that we have. We can either do some escalations or some elusive targets. There's no elusive targets because it doesn't show any. Like... You can see right on the screen, but let's go ahead and do some featured contracts. From my understanding, or from what I feel uh, is the case, I think the featured targets are the community-based missions. So all of these are kind of what the community likes, or I guess the best of the best for the contracts. So let's actually go ahead and do the top left one. I'm getting dared to do this one, so might as well go ahead and do it. Challenge accepted. Let's see what the objectives are. We have two targets, Trenpo, Eduardo LeBlanc. We have some optional disguise wear and some optional elimination targets that we can get in here. So let's actually go ahead and go into the planning. We can smuggle things in through the basement or through the shed. You know what? I think I think the shed would probably be an easier one because it's outside of everyone's uh, vision. Let's see what we want to put in here. Let's actually put in the modern syringe. Uh, because that was kind of one of our go-to things in the episode ending, or at least at the ending of episode one. Let's see, we have the main entrance, the undercover kitchen, and the undercover, uh, dress area. So, let's see, the last one we had done was going undercover through the kitchen. When I was kind of going through all of my fails, I had gone through the main entrance, so that's something I don't really want to try and go through again so let's actually go through the dressing area we have uh lock picks coins let's actually do the lock picks because those are something that i may need depending on where the objectives are so let's go ahead and continue everything else is going to stay the same so let's go ahead and see what we have to do Alright, so I guess in these feature targets, they don't really debrief you at all, so we kind of have to make do with whatever situation we have. We got a challenge up on the right-hand corner. I didn't really catch what it was, but let's go ahead and find... And I guess what worked for me the last time was finding somebody that worked, like a staff member like this, because uh, you can really get into just about anywhere without the security guards really caring. So, let's see. I think we can... I know I look fine. I don't know if we can like find any like question. What would be the right thing? Let's go ahead and see here. I can't believe he's actually here, you know. Like we can break glass. We can go in as a super I don't know if we can go in there as a supermodel. I don't think it would really matter. Let's actually go ahead and see exactly where they are. We got one guy over there, probably on the third or second floor, and then for sure someone on the third floor up there or the very top. So that one we're gonna definitely need a a security guard or, or someone high enough so that no one really cares. But let's actually see if we can get into the staircase here. Usually there's someone at the top of the staircase, or at least from, from what I've seen, there's someone important at the stop, top of the staircase. Just like this, a crew member. Let's actually go ahead and knock him the hell out. Thank you very much, sir. I will take your disguise. So this should be able to get us in fairly close to, um, to I guess this one that's on the second floor. Let's go ahead and see if we can kind of disrupt things a little. Huh. Wow. Never knew this stuff was so complicated. I wonder. What's this one? Yeah, that's a fireworks remote. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. Look, Novikov's expecting a heads up before we trigger the Yeah, I'm not going to touch that right now. Right, let's go and touch this. Balls. This one's going to be investigated, so I'm just going to act like I'm working. Excuse me, but I saw you. What's going on here? Thank you. I'm going to wait for this guy to come back around. He's going to take a deep. Is everything okay? I don't think he heard anything. I don't, I don't see the problem here, sir. I'm going to continue to work over here, if you don't mind. Sir, sir. All right. All right, thank you. Time to take your disguise. Let's see. I've been recorded by the security camera, so hopefully it's not too important. Hey, time to wake up. Wake 
Alright. We're in this area. Let's see if the guy over here is even paying any relative attention. Well, the other person is on the other side right over here. I have a lockpick. So he should be able to get in. Oh, I see. The target is the actual officer. What? What kind of shit is this? Okay, yeah, that, that makes things a lot easier now that I know that the security guard or the the guard is the actual target. Alright, it should make things a lot easier. Security's on high alert, so I can't even let you through here. Sorry. You're good, man. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what, guys? I think I messed up. Oh, this is bad. This is that is just so dangerous. Switch on. Uh. Got All right, time to go. What the fuck? All right, I gotta go. They have no idea where I am. I've got to be Audi R8 right now. Please, you need to leave now it's for your own sake. Alright. Okay. Let's see here. We've stirred up a little bit of... of pandemic, so... I wonder if there's anyone on the opposite sides over here. That guy is done, so I don't know if we eliminated the target or not. I think we have to kill him, but... I'm gonna go ahead and close this, cause... I'm gonna take this guy's outfit easily. Auction staff, perfect. This is a good disguise. Don't ask. All right, that's the, that's actually the the other target. I guess we do have to kill him. So. Man, what's a decent tip, man? Ten, fifteen percent. You know what? Uh, I will catch you guys in a second. I what I'm gonna go do is just I have to go to the shed. And I have to go get some of the equipment that I had left there. Uh, I guess I kind of forgot to go pick that up. And it has some, some important things in it. So let's go ahead and go do that. I will catch you guys in a little. Alright guys, so I'm trying to find something that will allow me to at least kill the guy fairly easily. Like a... Oh my god, look at how perfect that is. Like a letter opener. Alright. Something that I could throw at him from a distance. I'm gonna equip my lockpicks just so that no one suspects a thing. I wonder if I can get another, like, knife or something. Oh, a fire poker. Can I toss that? I don't think I can toss that. Oh, I can. Perfect. So this is something else I can get. Let's go ahead and switch back to my lockpicks once again. And let's go ahead and go take this guy down for good because last time I kind of just knocked him out. Sir, please stand still. I have to do a routine check. Are you carrying anything that could be seen as a potential? <laughs> Alright guys, he has been eliminated. He, I mean, it kind of took me a little bit. I had to go back and, and kind of weasel my way back into the system but I have managed to do this without alerting anyone so now really all I have to do is get back into the spot I was in before and I should be good
Move on, son. Alright guys, so I think it worked. I'm gonna go drag these guys into this, into the wardrobes and, and kinda hope for the best here cause this is really the only way we can get up there is passing these guys and if I get first, they're gonna see everything I have in my pockets. Let's go ahead and drag these guys and I can't be the bodyguards because there's a bunch over there and they're definitely going to notice me. So that's kind of the bummer about these disguises is that if you get spotted by someone of the same work area then they're definitely going to compromise you or you're basically there's no way of hiding through that so let's go ahead and see if we can get on up here. We should be able to to make our way in as the butlers but let's go ahead and see what we can use let's just do a lock picks because nobody finds lock picks kind of suspicious so we should be good now i don't know if this guy's gonna move or do anything so i have to find a way of you know what let's try something oh that would have been that would have been disastrous We have eliminated the targets. Let's go ahead and see. I'm being hunted. Now he's at the. He's tall, mean looking. He's wearing a waiter's outfit. Oh great. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. In so many words. Hey! Please, please. You gotta help. What we need to do is jump on over, and I have to scale this building. All right, this could actually work, guys. All right, how are we gonna do this? I can't go that way. I think I have to go this way. Hopefully no one sees me. Oh, this room is, this room is closed. There's no one in here, guys. Oh, this is perfect. Now I just need a different outfit and I should be clear. This could work, guys. This truly could. Oh, if I can get this crew outfit, I'm it's it's game over. Now, time to... Oh, I guess I can't... Damn it. I want to create a diversion. Guess this is going to have to be good enough. We may be able to go through the front door. I'm not quite sure, though. Let's actually go back this way because this is where the crew is, so we should be able to to make a safe exit this way. Alright. I'm pretty sure we are home clear guys. All we have to do is make it to the exit. And it's right there. It is so close, it's ridiculous. 
it'd be really bad if someone caught one of the one of the dead people now and then just instantly spot me. It, it would be game over. Well, I guess we have to go down one more flight of stairs. Don't mind the dead person at the bottom of the stairs. He's just leaping. Alright. Nice work on the stage design. Your challenge was accepted, sir. We also got a couple of challenges. I don't think we got as many as the first mission. We only got two here. But, well, I didn't get a very good score. I actually lost almost all the points I had. Uh, I had a total score of zero. But in my books, I killed the target, which was the main objective. And that's all I really care about. So, let's go ahead and exit to the main menu. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. The one thing I don't like about these featured contracts is I'm not sure if there's a debrief or like it kind of does what the story mode does and kind of gives you like a, a kind of an overlook of what you should be to expect in the in the contract, but that's kind of a bummer. I guess that's really all that we that we have to go by until the next episode. If you want to see more of this, let me know. If not, then I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next episode. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share the video, show your support for the channel, because every bit counts. It really does. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Alright. Kobe. Oh, did I get double kill on that one? Oh, that is a quad feed. No, if I'm gonna make it five, oh, I'm just on a streak right now, guys. This is my, that was my pentakill. No, I'm gonna get to get one. Oh, that guy's mine. He's going, he's gone. It's a home run, boys.